Hi everyone, my name is Gabriela, and I just graduated from my master's in business analytics at Brook College. Today, let's talk about structured query language, SQL, which is the language for talking to relational databases. This is the first one of SQL videos, and we are going to give you an overview of the relational databases, the relational database management systems, RDBMS, structured query language, and some of the set examples we created on mod.com. First, let us learn more about relational databases, which is a collection of data items with predefined relationships between them. Those items are organized as a set of tables with columns and rows. We can see there's an example table from Wikipedia. The table holds information about the objects each column in the table holds a certain kind of data and a field stores the actual value of an attribute. For example, we have image in the portrait column and string data in the other columns. The rows in the table represent a collection of related values of one object or entity. Each row in the table could be marked with a unique identifier called a primary key. In this case, we have positive number can as the primary key. And rows among multiple tables can be made related using foreign keys. The data can be accessed in many ways without reorganizing the database tables themselves. Now let us take a look at the program that allows you to create, update, and administer a relational database called Relational Database Management Systems, RDBMS. Most relational database management systems use the SQL language to access the database. Here we showed you four most prevalent RDBMS. Microsoft SQL Developer has the top spot for best databases by market share, around 18%, followed by MySQL, 14%, PostgreSQL, and Oracle Database. SQL, Structured Query Language, is a programming language used to communicate with data stored in a relational database system. SQL consists of commands that you use to create and manipulate database objects, run queries, load tables, and modify the data in the tables. Here we show two examples of how to use SQL to query data to answer the business questions. We are going to talk in detail about the syntax in the following videos. We wanted to show the population of each city in California. By writing SQL, select all columns from the original data set, CD population table, and filter by state, which is CA, California, we can see the output only include California cities populations. Another example is to answer how many investors did Facebook raise money from. Here we can see that we could also write SQL to do calculations. By selecting company name column and the count of the investors who invested in Facebook from the crunch base table, we can see that Facebook raised money from 16 investors. After looking at these two tables, um, two examples, we can tell that SQL syntax is similar to the English, English language, which makes it relatively easy to write, read, and interpret. And we're going to talk more about it in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.